Hello and welcome. I'm Joseph Hoffman, and today we are going to learn one of the most famous classical pieces of all time, Fur Elise. The great Ludwig von Beethoven composed Fur Elise a little over 200 years ago in Vienna, and then dedicated it to a mysterious woman named Elise. In German, Fur Elise means for Elise. And who was this woman Elise? No one knows. But as you listen to Fur Elise, you can get some hints about how Beethoven felt about her. By the end of this video, you're going to be playing one of the most famous, beloved classical piano pieces of all time. By the way, this Fury Lease tutorial you're watching is my super easy preparatory level tutorial, which is perfect for anyone with zero to six months of experience playing piano. To help you master this song, I highly recommend that you get the accompanying sheet music for this tutorial, which is available for purchase online at the Hoffman Academy store. Or if you're a premium member of Hoffman Academy, the sheet music is free, included with your premium membership. If you're a more experienced pianist and you'd like a harder version of Fury Lease, check out my level one tutorial. Or if you'd like Beethoven's original advanced version of Fury Lease, check out my level four or level six tutorials. Okay, let's come to the piano to start learning. Let's take a look at the notes we're going to need to play Fury Lease. Uh, these two blue notes are the only notes you'll need to use your left hand to play. And to find them, just look for two black keys nearest the middle of your piano. We have a middle C and E, a skip above that. And those two notes will be played with your finger one, it's your left hand thumb, and finger three of your left hand, your middle finger. Okay, so go ahead and get your left hand in position there on C and E. And then up here in the right hand, we have the notes A, B, C, D, and E. We'll need all five of those notes. So we'll need all five fingers of your right hand covering up those five notes, starting here on A, which is in between this group of three black keys right there. Go ahead and get your right hand in position on those five. Now every once in a while, we'll also need a D sharp, which will be played with finger four. So your four will sometimes be on D, sometimes on D sharp. So just stay flexible there. Then every once in a while, we'll also need a G sharp, which will use finger one. You'll shift your hand forward to play one on G sharp. So with your hands in this position, you're ready to start playing. Now, checking out the first five notes of Fur Elise, you'll notice it goes back and forth between E and D sharp using the right hand fingers five and four. We've got finger five on E, so we can go ahead and move finger four up to D sharp. Now when you'll do that, you know, you don't have to keep your other fingers there. Go ahead and just let the hand naturally shift up so you're only worrying about these two notes. You're going to use those two fingers to go back and forth on these first five notes. E, D, E, D, E. And when I say D, I really mean D sharp. Now, you try that. Good. Let's do it one more time together. Go. E, D, E, D, E. Good. Now, look at the next four notes. After that, we're going to need to make sure our fingers are falling back in this kind of five note position. And the next four notes go B, D, C, A, which kind of forms a pattern. You notice we've got this skip up here from B to D, and then a step down, then a skip down. So these notes are in pairs. We've got a skip up and then a skip down. B, D, C, A. We try those four notes. Good, now if we put that all together, we get E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, B, D, C, A. And a little bit more quickly, we get. Now, press pause, and I'd like you to just work on those first nine notes several times on your own until you feel comfortable with it, then press play to go on. I'd like to point out that when you play this, I'd like you to really make sure you have good piano posture. It's common for beginner students to play with a really flat pinky, which is a bad habit to get into. Try to play near the tip. 
Also, for the right feel on Fury Lease, it needs to be played gently. So don't hammer out the notes. Play it delicately. And with feeling, you'll notice I start soft and I crescendo a little bit in the middle and then get soft again at the end. That makes it really nice. Now let's go on to the next section. You'll notice the next two notes are played by the left hand. I know that because they're down in the bass clef. And we just have C, E, and then the right hand plays A, B. So again, the left hand plays finger three, then one, three, one, then the right hand plays one, two. C, E, A, B. Now you try. Let's try it together now. C, E, A, B. Good. Now, looking at the next one, we have E, G sharp. So to get to the G sharp, we're going to have to sh shift or slide our right hand forward a little bit so your finger one can comfortably reach that G sharp. Don't cramp your hand over like this. Just glide forward and you'll be able to reach it really easily. So we have E, G sharp, B. Notice I'm playing the B way up here because of where I've had to shift my hand for my thumb on the G sharp. And then B, C. By that time, you can slide your hand back down, if you like, to this more uh, normal position. Okay, so watch that one more time. E, G sharp, B, C. Notice how I slid my hand to accommodate the black key. Now, you try that on your own. Good, now let's put those two phrases together. We have C, E, A, B, E, G sharp, B, C. Now, press pause and practice those eight notes on your own several times until you feel comfortable, and then press play to go on. Good, now next up, we have E in the left hand, which is played with finger one, and I kind of pounded that, don't do that, play it gently, E, and then E for the right hand way up here with finger five, your pinky. So we have E, E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, B, C, I mean B, D, C, A. It goes back into the main theme. The only thing that's different this time if we, is we've led into it with this E in the left hand. E, E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, B, D, C, A. And then we've got the same pattern as before, C, E, A, B. And now a new pattern, E, C, B, A. Okay, so let's try this new pattern. E, C, so we go from E in the left hand to C in the right hand with finger three, then two, one. E, C, B, A. Now you try. Good, now let's go all the way back to where we play this E with the left hand. E, E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, B, D, C, A. C, E, A, B, E, C, B, A. Press pause and try that entire section on your own, then press play to go on. Now next, you'll notice when we get there, there's a repeat sign. This little symbol here with the two dots and the one thin and one thick line, that's called a repeat sign. And it takes you back to the start of the piece. So then we get to do the whole thing again. And the last time, when you're on the second time, I like to slow down and get really soft on those last three notes, getting softer on each one and slowing down. That makes a really nice ending. Now, I'm going to play all the way through with the repeat. If you'd like to try playing along, you can, or if you'd just like to listen to see what it's going to sound like, that's fine too. Ready, go.
One thing I wanted to mention is to be sure to hold these dotted quarter notes extra long. If we're using rhythm words, we could say You know, it's it's a ta plus an extra half beat. One and two, ba ba ba. One and two, ba ba ba. One and two. Sometimes I hear kids play those quarter dotted quarter notes too fast, like da 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 da. But that loses the charm of Fury Leash. You've got to hold those extra long. Ba, ba, hold, ba, 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 hold it, ba, ba, ba. Hold it, ba, 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 hold it, ba, 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 ba. Okay, so hold those dotted quarter notes. Okay, you know the main melody for Fury Leash now. And this is a slightly simplified version for this preparatory tutorial. If uh, you master this and you feel like a harder one, you can go on to the, the next tutorial, which is my level one version. Great job learning how to play the melody of Fur Elise today. To help you in your practicing, I recommend that you use the sheet music, which remember is available from the Hoffman Academy online store or available for free with your Hoffman Academy premium membership. Happy practicing! and see you next time. Hey, would you two like to hear an interesting story about Furelise? You sure. betcha! Okay, well, Furelise has become so famous over the years that I imagine there are very few people on the entire planet who haven't heard it. In fact, when I lived on the other side of the Pacific Ocean in Korea for a couple of years, and this is a true story, I found out that they had invented a very special way to let you know that it was time to take out your trash. The garbage truck had a loudspeaker that would play music. Oh, like on an ice cream truck? Yes, like an ice cream truck, except you wouldn't want to eat anything out of this truck. Yeah, yeah Well, as the garbage truck drove around, every week, Guess what melody it would play over and over as it drove around picking up your trash. What? Fur Elise. What? Huh? You mean that beautiful song was like the trash anthem? Yeah. I don't know how Beethoven would feel about his piece being used as the theme for taking out your garbage. Indeed. So it'd be like singing, truck is coming, please take out your trash. Take out your trash. Take, Take out, out your trash. trash. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did I just hear my favorite song? What? Hey, trash can appreciate true musical beauty too, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs>